to all wake up in the morning except for Moss, who kind of stumbles into town. You don't know where you were. Nope. The stone, the stone giant is uh, drunk again. Colin Roland, you each wake up in your individual uh, in rooms. Mm-hmm. Cock, That's you me. remove the old man's uh, arm from your side, <laughs> draped over your side as you <laughs> climb out of bed. Uh, what did the wizard do? Wonder <laughs> <what that is. laughs> the wizard dude that was at the tower? Yeah. I was just starting to get, yeah. <laughs> he tried to get the apprentice to join, but failed. <laughs> No, actually, that was just so much. You were trying to get Red everyone <laughs> to go with the. Or at least distract him. him. <laughs> like you're trying to, uh, you're trying to get him to distract something or somebody. Uh, Red tried to steal something. That's, That's right. Red was trying to steal something, and I was trying to distract the apprentice so Red could, and I couldn't get the apprentice to want to get up and dance. So. Oh well, his loss soon has gifted me, if you know what I mean. Like three penises? It's just one of those cool ones that we were talking about last week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's got a total of six. What they had up, yep. Got a six whole inches. Six whole inches. Apparently, America five is the average. Mm, what's that, America? <laughs> no, if Americans are average of five, think about Asia. Poor Asia. <laughs> okay. Two inches is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and yet there's a billion of them, so it must be how you use it. They hate cock. No, 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 no. They engineered them smaller, more efficient, able to do more, able to do more in less time, with, with less, less space. <clears throat> Clearly, with less. I wouldn't say more because as long as they get off, they're done. The women don't really. Have <laughs> and then they have a girl baby, they just grow up. Yep. And they come to America where we adopt them. See. <laughs> Damn them. Right, right. Chris. Yes. <laughs> Moss, you start uh, walking towards the mage tower as the uh, best idea you have as to where everyone might be. Alright. Uh, Roland <clears throat> and Cole, you eat at the inn. Silently, knowing just what happened at the tower last night. Well, I'd imagine him to be laughing. <laughs> After about 20 minutes, you all converge at approximately the same time. At the tower. Okay. Uh, uh, converge. Oh, wait, no. I, okay. I'll put my pants back on. And get up there. You go downstairs and answer the door when uh, you hear the... <laughs> oh, oh, oh sorry. sorry, yeah, I'm like, wait, hold on, different pounding. <laughs> With them pounding on the door. Mm-hmm. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. I would have gone to see if he'd have fun with the hat. Well, we were yeah. standing next to me, then I know we were both. We were both at the end. Yeah, you talked it over over breakfast. Mm. I also seem to recall you uh, spying on him. Oh, right. He totally shot her down during the day. Yeah. But thankfully I wasn't eaten, so it's a good day. You all step into the tower. Mm -hmm. Start climbing up to Nizamorin's study. I'm already there. Oh, you answered the door for them. Oh, <clears throat> putting my pants back on. Oh, hello! Ah, uh, fuck it, I'm not putting my pants on. <laughs> hello! <clears throat> good morning! As expected. And what a good morning it is. I see the halfling guys decide to make himself scarce here. You what I understand, your halfling least. friend made herself scarce too. Sorry. Could have given you some pointers, but no one invited me. No, no, no thanks. Though she brought up the idea of going for a jog. I'm not sure what that meant. <laughs> Anyhow. 
She went horseback riding. Right? <laughs> Bare back. Roadback? What? You make your way up the spiral staircase to Nizamore in the study where you see him, now dressed, as well as the uh, halfling working around the teleportation circle. I guess I'll put my pants on. All right. So as you're doing that, I'm just as, gonna... Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, as you're, do, as you're doing that, I'm pretty much just gonna watch what's going on since... Stop watching my clothes on. No, watch what they're doing. Why would you be bothered? I know, I'm not. I was saying it so that hopefully it would look my direction. So, okay. How can you doing... Like, like Jason, Jason. hey guys! I'm what? getting naked. So the halflings do it in a teleportation circle? The halfling and these more of the uh, human wizard are both working on it. May as well try to understand some of the magic. So where's this going? Oh, oh. We, we had a choice. Did that? I pick the which? Oh, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, we were his, his suggestion was that uh, you might be able to find someone... He, if uh, if the old capital of Narath was not sacked completely, if there's anyone still living there, their uh, professional magic society would probably have a few planar experts that would be able to get you home. I think it's perhaps Narath. Why would it be Tarot, sacked? Narath, Tarot, Narath. Because the empire, it... the empire fell a, a about a hundred years ago. Wait, what? I grabbed those hammer. Who's grabbed those hammer? Who's grabbed those hammer? Just got out of the hammer. Oak throws grab hammer. Yes, that. Is it four? Four two hammers. <laughs> As you, uh. Is that really from the Craig's book that's wrapped around? Oh, it's the channel strength. Tarak, Narak. Yep. Tarak, Narak. yep. Tarak, Narak. yep. Yeah, it's it's, I knew it was from that. I'm just I couldn't remember whether it was the little people that you know, the rock creatures. You know. Yeah. As you start asking about it, uh, needs more and answers. It appears that the halfling is doing most of the work. That's what an assistant. <laughs> Sorry, I tired him out last night. Not the halfling. Yeah, we're uh, here. The uh, civilization of the uh, Empire of Narath used to cover most of the northern hemisphere of this world, but uh, fell to a uh, invasion of the <coughs> barbarians about a hundred years ago. That's why that tower was abandoned so suddenly, is because they were called away to defend the capital city. Hmm. Mm, there's a bunch of people up in the north section of Faerun as well. Kind of took over the whole thing until, oops, Faerun? all the magic on top. Mm. You both speak a place that I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm totally confused. Yeah. Of course, the point is, is that if there's anyone still living in the city, then uh, their professional magic society, the uh, premier mage guild of the world back then, may have some planar experts that may be able to help you out. And if the city was completely sacked, you might find something useful in the <clears throat> guild's ruins. Ooh, shiny stuff. Like goblins. As long as it's not rats or fucking spiders. <clears throat> Curious that magic is this freaking common. Of course magic is common. Uh, not where I'm from. While the halfling continues preparing the teleportation circle, needs more than thumbing through the book. Alright, there are a few good candidates here that should get you guys closer to the city. From the looks of it, there aren't any that lead directly into, there aren't any uh, rune sequences that lead directly into Narath. I was kind of expecting that since a teleportation circle in the city with uh, a rune sequence that you could get anywhere outside the city would basically be leaving the gates open. Well, if you know how to use one of these things, yeah. Hey, yeah, let's really go somewhere. But you have to, like, lock the chevrons and stuff. It's very complicated. What's a sharp rock? It's like a gas station? Yeah. It's a, it's a room. <laughs> this world confuses me. 
Ah, magic babble. I doubt it's just this world. After... <laughs> wooden man. <laughs> After about 20 minutes... That's how you'd appreciate the wood man. He starts... Splinters. <laughs> they, after 20 minutes, the two of them start casting spells over the over the teleportation circle. Every three or four minutes ago, you hear a loud fart, fizzle. Nizamoran swears, and they rearrange some of the runes, start trying again. Most of the morning passes this week. So other, so other than this thing just kind of screwing up, what happens every time, what actually happens every time this thing activates? You mean when it successfully activates, or when... Well, whenever, whenever the magic's used, because it's got to come from somewhere. The source. The gate, the runes, it's all part of the magic. Let me make a null a uh, religion check for the needs of one. He may actually be able to give you an religion. Answer. I have that. Well, yours is probably better than his, so go ahead. Twenty-two. Okay. Well, you know that Miss, you know that uh, Mistra was not the source of magic because it continued to exist after she died. But uh, you seem to recall hearing about some kind of em- entity called the serpent. Wait, the, called the what? <laughs> called the serpent. <laughs> that would be uh, not exactly a deity, but like the the uh, embodiment, the incarnation of magic as a being. I will explain that to you. Some kind of snake <laughs> goes in and out of holes. You can see this ring thing. It makes magic. One eye. Like Every night. My snake goes in holes and makes magic. Most nights. <clears throat> so drawing yeah. sort of drawing the power from one thing instead of everything. Sure. If you have to have some kind of embodiment of it, it can't just be a force of nature. It's, it's a snake. Anyhow. So the morning passes fairly dully like this, until finally, instead of after the spell being cast, there's a large, large farting, farting sound and fizzle. A teleportation circle begins glowing blue. Nisa Warren shouts, finally, something works. One of them is still in service. Um, do you know where this one goes? He picks up the book and uh, looks at the entry. Five thousand no feet underneath idea. the ocean. Good yeah, luck. Yeah, let's do another one. <laughs> <laughs> I have an answer. I just need to look up where I wrote it down. This goes to the village of Merkwell. It's okay. about a. It's uh, well to the south of here. Approximately 300 miles away from the capital city of Narath. 300 miles? Yes, but that's opposed to the 3,000 it would take if you started le- if you left from here. Can we take a cart through with a horse? How big is a circle? <clears throat> Large about as big around. What? Well, yeah, it's about. No, it's about as big around as this table. The difficulty would be getting a horse and cart up the stairs of this tower. I've always been one able to motivate an ass, but okay. I suppose. Needs a more in eh, it. It's just it's just three hundred miles, and we don't have and we don't have the sun beating down on us all the time. Yeah. Needs a more and pulls out a quill, jots down something, at a blank page at the end of the book. He's like, "Here you guys go. The uh, rune sequence here is if you ever need to come back. My doors are always open to you." So we have you and you to thank for that. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I'm going to step through the circle. What? Huh? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to Hold on, Kyle. I've been around all day. My pain. 
You step through the circle. You hear a very surprised chicken. And a couple of people shout like, whoa! You're in the middle of a town square. Oh, it worked! I'm alive! You guys scare me on the other side? Well, I'm coming through right after you. <laughs> the sound, sound doesn't travel through, but you step through right behind you. You have to step on the circle, you can't like jump in here. You can jump, yeah, you can jump into it. But will you, like, will you, like, do you <clears throat> will your inertia carry over? Yes. Speedy can go in, speedy can <clears throat> come out. It doesn't exactly explain how, so I'll let it fly. Okay. <clears throat> or I'll let you fly. So it's <laughs> a portal. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wanted to make sure. It, wow. It's not quite like a portal in that you go through it, but you teleport once you're over the circle. Yeah, I will run and jump into it. Okay, you run and jump, and on the other side, he executes like a great... Yeah. Okay, <laughs> instead of he executes a great landing, it's he hits you in the back as you stumble forward a little bit. Yeah, we're being attacked! <laughs> <laughs> That's her. The chicken kills the chicken, and the town angrily mobs. The bastard swarm of chickens is the same. At least it's not spiders or rats. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can eat these. It isn't. It, it we isn't can eat the a rats. bustling. Yeah. It isn't a bustling village square, but there are a few very surprised people staring at you guys. I'll come through last. Hey. <clears throat> I'm gonna mace out, ready to attack. Oh. Hello. And after you step through the, uh, I should probably put on my armor instead of the silk robe. But anyway. after you step through, the circle ceases to glow. And... How are we getting back? It's okay. You so we grab well, the address, got, right? Yeah, he gave yeah. us the book back the book. with the address. He gave us a piece of paper. Okay. He kept the book. Oh. Uh, he he handed you back the book. He scrawled he oh. scrawled it in the back of the book on a blank page. Yep, oh, I thought you just he gave us a page. Yeah. He, he left you his, his number. Yep, and I'm just numbering you. All right. We will in your address back. book. <laughs> we will be going back. Well, so the little uh, black book? Uh, <laughs> I have a magic book that I just take random pieces of paper from people and I just, like, attach it and it goes and fits into the book. If that's how you want your uh, ritual book to work, that can be how it works. It's my sex book. <laughs> you see that book of those magnetic pages? Virtual, Sandy, Ember, Carl. Take whatever page and fits into the book. Excellent. <clears throat> I'll save that one for later. Yeah, it's really cool. Like you can pull it out if you needed to just write something on it and then you just slot it back in. And just... Oh, the magnetic yeah. notebook? Yeah. 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 Really cool. Never seen it. Uh, anyway, the only one. Like, it's expensive. Apparently. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine magnetic paper cannot be cheap. <laughs> yeah, no. Anyhow. Wait, wait, like, walk up to the first person I see. Like, hello, where is this? Uh, you're in the village of Merkwell. I he was right! Some... <laughs> wow. I, I, I see someone finally remember this town exists. Nope. Um, no, remember? I was sent by a magic, magic wizard. A wizard did it. I, I assume you would be if you came through there. Nobody's come through in years. I'm glad you guys didn't build anything over it. Yeah, that could have been a bit of a headache. We greatly appreciate that. Hello. Hey! It's Red. Tis I. I roll. Let's see here. My carrot. Falling. Thanks. And oh. Miss Heather. Okay. Whittle these spigot! Wait, what? Wait. I think you need to work out a deal with yeah. Ben Chris to just sponsor our DD moment. <laughs> since we keep, you know. That would be great. I choose that. Yeah. <laughs> I go for Arizona too. I choose. <laughs> it's a good game. I do. They will not do. Doritos and Mountain Dew. Hell yes, Doritos and Mountain Dew. I'm okay. Sponsor me. Screw that. We don't want Cafe Rio. No. I guess he's got stuff. I'm You're pretty okay. Who's yeah. there? Please. Oh, they're mine. That's weird. Who's this? No idea. Oh, it's not weird. Really <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, that was the oh, plan. My back? Yeah, upstairs by the TV. Oh. The circle makes a humming humming noise, glows blue for two yeah. seconds, and then he stumbles through. <laughs> what the? Were you watching us last night? Because yes. I pulled that. <laughs> really? I'd Should have jumped you'd... in, you dick. Yeah, I'd imagine you'd be more angry if he didn't join you. Mm -hmm. Watching, not participating. 
Alright, so he, should he we likes the couple. start going to Narath? He was watching oh, jealously. Yeah, please, Dear villager, <laughs> does Narath still exist? Uh, it would be, assuming nothing's happened to it in the last two or three years, it'll be uh, to the southwest of here. Unfortunately, a landslide wiped out the road. That's why we were so surprised that somebody finally realized, remembered this village exists. Do you know like, the, the door code for this thing to get us to Nara? Ooh. The we we don't have a code for it. I mean, you you can certainly go, th you can certainly take the direct route there. It's just there's but, no road. But this is a really direct route. Like if we put the right. I thought he tried that. Though. Yeah, I mean, he said maybe. he didn't have a code in that book. But this place is only 300 miles from it. Might, this place might have something. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, but it have to be a lot more specific than just We're looking this thing. for the phone number. Yeah, we need we need the number. Oh, the dial code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't ha have it. We don't have a town wizard. If we did, we'd have sent somebody out to get people to fix the damn road by now. I'm good, people. You have hands. Fix the road yourselves. Well, I don't think they'll be fixing the road, but let's see what's here. Can we get um, paid to fix the road? I don't have time to fix the road. Right. Do you have a shovel? <laughs> I don't feel like I have time to fix the road. <laughs> So I don't do manual paper. Fuck oh. other people are doing it for me. <clears throat> did you just say yes? Yes, he did. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's a commodity. That's why my nickname's Cock. Okay. <laughs> With the road out Arbor the most direct. Yeah. With the road out the most direct route there would be to the southwest. There's a mountain range and a forest standing in the way. You can either uh, go through the mountain range and avoid the forest, or go through the forest and avoid the mountain range. I think we go through the forest. Agreed. Forest. I hear bad things about mountain ranges and caves and trolls versus mountains. Usually, I'd imagine, I'd imagine you'd be all, all for it. So nice big mountain ranges. That's the one we would rather. Big, big trolls. dark holes scare me. Nah, I'd rather go with trolls. Things, <laughs> big dark holes that I can fit into? Yeah, they tear. <laughs> oh, dog in a hallway. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone I pulled out. I'm gonna say, great. hopefully every hole that you encounter, you can fit into. No, no like me, all of oh. them. Oh, like. And I guess that first. Means, I guess that means no uh, giant tests for you. There's my idea. <laughs> there are half giants for a reason. I may have several children. Well, of all different races. If you but first, let me, let me go see. Let me go see yeah, if there's uh, yeah. any store, any Smart. interesting stores around. Uh, Weapons and stuff smell like that. All around, smells all around me are distracting. <laughs> as as you wander off to look you're, around, you're all awful fruity today. The villager, a. Uh, Relatively filthy human. He he looks like he came out. Of, he was one of the peasants it's extras better, in uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Was he being a cat against the wall? Yes. No. <laughs> no, it was more. It was uh, more the uh, guy who gave the political diatribe. <laughs> the the, the anarcho syndicalist commune guy. That is the abuse that's inherent in the system. I have oh, oh, I'm being oppressed. Well, well, you're not being murdered, so you're up. So you're still up on it. What's his name? Do we have a name? Man. He did. He, he did. Said, he said, Kevin. Kevin. And My name is Kevin. Kevin. There's some who call me Tim. Tim. Hey, as Roland, as Roland walks away, he mentions, mm -hmm. well, if you go to the town provisioner, you'll be able to get a map of the area. You'll Mine be able not to pretty, but I like them. find a like safe, the rack, the safe passage through. No problem with that. With the map. Awesome. Maps are good. To the provisioner. Where's the provisioner? Gives you uh, directions down this oh, side street. Stuff, not stuff. that there's exactly a street, it's just dirt path. Dirt path. Right a now. little bit muddy in the middle. Between those two buildings. Yeah. Between those two buildings, make a left. I like this. <laughs> I'll head to the provisioners. For commoners, they sure know a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, this is their town. I'd hope they'd know a lot. Shouldn't they be in a field? Something like the road closed. Who knows? Well, commoners know where things are, they just kind of put a shot there. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Don't kill that boy. While he's distracted. Ketchup. <laughs> Alright. 
It goes to a uh, provi provisioner's shop. It looks like it's the town general store as you step in. Any man auto call for him? Okay. Okay. No. Well, I guess first thing I'll pick up is the map. As you step in, there is a female dwarf behind the counter. Does she have a beard? Nope. Just eyebrows. Kind of worldly. <laughs> well, no. Still a little unfam still a little unfamiliar with a full head of hair, but not bad. She she actually is relatively easy on the eyes. You guys are surprised to find out. Quick before. Your... Quick, before he comes to his senses. What are we after? Her. A mole? Nah, she doesn't look like a mole. Moles are little furry animals. No, mole. And you. Yeah, things are going in your face. Mullet? Mole. It's <laughs> like, so how can I help you gentlemen today? Well, mole I'm, here, I'm here I'm primarily to pick up a map and see, what, and see what else I can probably, see what else of interest I can get my hands on. Okay, well, she pulls out a map. I'm willing to part with it for uh, five gold. Yeah, I can do. I can do five gold, no problem. All right. And she uh, unrolls it for you. You guys all crowd in as you look. Now tell me, where are you headed? We are headed to Narath. Narath. All right. Just going over here. <laughs> All right, she uh, points it out. She she pulls out a quill really quick and put, puts a little scribble on it. Okay, ignore the road marked here because it's not there anymore. Gotcha. Why don't you guys fix that road? Well, you weren't kidding. There's a weird smell when you come downstairs. That is with all the fruity uh, high chew smells. <clears throat> it's because the majority of people in this village are, farm inter are farmers and spend entirely too much time working at it. <laughs> makes sense. Man got to eat. Hey, at least that, at least that means there should be there should be in plenty fact, of provisions. Right, use water. Yes. In That's in fact, uh, besides besides the uh, mayor of this town, the only people here who aren't who aren't farmers are myself, my husband, and my children. And what do your children do? My children are still children. Oh, yeah. So they run around. Yes. Causing. Why don't you have them clear the road? Don't the farmers have children? <laughs> that aren't farmers? If they're not doing anything, they don't have them clear the road. Farmers. Far, farmers' children usually are were employed by the farm as well. They feed the chickens. They're fed. Being a farmer's kid sucks. <laughs> And uh, myself and my husband can't, it's too big a job for the two of us to do our, by ourselves. Oh, so you're married? Yes. Yeah, careful. Yes, he's, a, he's the town blacksmith. He's actually in back right now, if you want me to call him up. Oh, not the person I'm talking to, sorry. <laughs> I was like, so they're gay. Awesome. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. What? Um, it, no, it's a dwarf woman. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying no. Does she look like a Verun dwarf? No. No. Ooh. No beard. Oh, wow. You're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I, do have, I do have to admit, a full head of hair on a dwarf woman is very, is very uh, good. Yes. No, but the, she you get the same reaction. Like She doesn't even have... I'm sorry, I'm still... A, used, I'm, I'm, still I'm still wow. recovering from... I have no idea where the hell I am. Anyway, before we got sidetracked here, ignore this road. It doesn't exist anymore as she scratches it out with a quill. Now, if you're heading to Narath, you're going to want to go southwest here, and she points out. Your two options are the mountain pass through here. You approach the mountains from, and then she makes a few marks on the map. You approach it from this angle here, you'll be able to find the pass. That being said, a lot of, a, a lot of people in town... A few people have tried it, trying to get out, and no one ever returned. Wait, which way? The oh, uh, mountain all pass. As fuck. <laughs> How long ago was that? Uh, last person who vanished was about a year and a half ago. So they're probably dead. Yes. That oh, I was going to say, we might be able to go rescue them. Shoot. 
but never mind. The uh, other option is to take the way around the mountain here, she, points, she draws on the map, and go through the woods here. Uh, keep an eye out for this river, follow it. Uh, only warning I have about the forest is mo everyone in town is fairly superstitious about it. They tend to say that there's fairies that will kidnap you or something. Ooh. Fairies? fairies? Oh. The hell are fairies? You were voting for fairies. trolls. What's fae? Um. It's not a what, it's a who. Okay, who is fae? <laughs> I think I might as well just ask him that. He might have pictures. Who? What? What? Huh? <laughs> I'm lost. Making a joke. No, I'm not yourself. Oh, yeah. That's not a commodity. Is there a commodity? Lost? Oh! Is there anything else you gentlemen need commodity. before you leave? Now that you mention it. Why are you leaving? What? Why are you leaving? We are leaving. Oh. We're going on a raft. Before you leave. Oh. We, we, we leave. Oh, okay. Yes, you gentlemen. Oh. I need to finish eating before I try to participate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and don't pay attention. Can't think. I'm like... Retarded when you're hungry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think... What is the... Last uh, did a good job upgrading my hammer. Well, unfortunately, I don't have much in the way of magic items, but I do have a ritual scroll or two. I've got a court, and then, of course, I've got tents, bed rolls. Uh, just the provision of not a magic shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tents, bed rolls, uh, rations, saddles, tack. You said you have some scrolls? Yes. I could use a bag of salt. I have this scroll. Okay. What's the scroll? scroll you can water walk. Oh. <clears throat> you actually do know how to put it in, in your book as part of your class. Oh, I know. <clears throat> are, you, are you asking to sell it to me? Or? Oh, no, I just want to see what else you have. Oh, okay. Daddy, where's my drink? Let's see what's going on. I don't think you care to us. Got some chocolate milk in there, anything with it? Well, I have. Aww. Well, these two here. here. Die now. Yep, you get one here. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. right. All right, I have milk. Three here. Before I have milk. Leave. What? Yeah. What'd she say? Let's check before we leave. Jordan, add your bag. I have three. I have three here. This one will help you find find uh, hidden doors, secret passages, and so forth. Uh, this next one will uh, help you endure elements. I mean, that's it's got a very utilitarian name, endure elements. And then this last one will let you understand languages that you otherwise would not. So about that secret door one. I like the idea of that one. Okay. This that is on the sale. It does not help you find the back door. But oh, I know where that is. Oh, well, it just gets him into any door, so he can find no, no. the back door. <laughs> that one's on sale for 125 gold. Sweet. Done. Okay. Any others you're interested in? No, well, those two should be, or that one should be enough. Okay. Do you have the phone number? The gate in the right. <laughs> But this didn't, of, didn't the wizard say there wasn't a gate in uh, Detect. I think it's detect secret doors. Let me double check. Yeah, detect Hodor's. Oh. They, after all, have very utilitarian names. Yeah, d yeah. Detect secret doors. Detect door secretions. this one to my book as well for when it's needed. All right, as you're slightly impressed by the werewolf as he opens up his uh, book, unf unfolds the scroll and just kind of... It's a small black book. Werewolf? Well, the shifter, I mean. It's... Oh. 
opens it up and just kind of takes the scroll and flicks it in and I it was actually sticks. thinking you were like anthro. We could all be so lucky. I was like, when did I miss that? I think that would be a pretty big thing I remember what happened. But I have missed. Well the only other the only other one who was bit was Ike and that never does anything. <laughs> you bit me? I bit you. <laughs> I mean or whatever. <laughs> Is there anything else you gentlemen need? No, uh, I figure I figure this this should be good. Alright, will you uh, have a safe journey? Try not to vanish wherever it is you go. Which one did we tell you we'd rather fight? Uh, I remember hearing you guys yeah. say fairies, yeah. Oh, good. Let's go to the mountain pass. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, I'll have something there to wing it if you don't. Mm, not fairies, but... Fairies might blow me, so let's go. Oh, so you want to go to the forest? Yeah, I know. Hello. <laughs> you really fuck a fairy or a troll? <laughs> As you guys are stepping out, you, uh... I've never seen any of the mountains. Huh? As you guys oh, step out of the story here, huh, and it's lunchtime as her husband walks up, up to her behind the counter. He's like, do you have it ready? Yeah. Uh, human, mid-40s. <laughs> oh. Actually, I'm going to flirt. With That's why she shaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to work my way into a married person. Uh, I'm just going to point at her and say, That's why she shaves. Yeah, or point at him and say, That's why she shaves. So what do I do? Diplomacy? Run? Yeah. I run? No. I, again, I've attitude. never known a dwarf to shave. But I said I knew yeah. the other ones. Probably I'm actually, I, I'm actually going with the uh, design decision they made, decided to do for fourth edition for this world. As far as you're aware, Rhett, they, they actually never grow beards. Not even, not even sideburns? No. Oh. They occasionally do in Faerun, but that's about it. Oh, they grow beards. Just a little yeah. And then Athos, no dwarf has any hair. 23, my diplomacy. Or my to blow me, see, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if that's fine enough. Mm-hmm. Moving one step is 25. Perhaps, gonna, perhaps that's just that high enough to not be offended. Just realized, I was like, wait a minute. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to be like, hey, do you two want to go back into your bedroom and fuck? But I'm going to be like, oh, well, you aren't you just an adorable couple? Oh, okay. And like flirt with them, like you said. Not, oh. not gonna be like. <laughs> just, not be gonna be extra, just, just be yeah. extroverted and turn it on. Everyone. What? Think. Start humming some Marvin Gaye and let's go. Never <laughs> mind. Oh. Well, it, is that the campaign guy or the players guy? Ah, uh, campaign. Okay. Excuse me. It's like, well, thank you. They. There you oh, go. <laughs> Somehow this does indeed float over the stores. <laughs> so I'll step out. Well, that seems like a bad sign. <laughs> hey, just planting the seed, if you know what I mean. I'm going to go this one. Since Moody, no, they don't know what you mean. Which is good, because if they knew what you meant, it wouldn't really plant the seed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shall we go? Yes. <laughs> Indeed we shall. The oh, mountains, I mean to the forest. I imagine I'm already out the door when the music kicks in. Well, I know what's going on now. That's right, Jim, it follows me. <laughs> it does indeed, actually, as you start <laughs> walking out of town, you sashay as it continues its <laughs> I don't even know how to describe the notes piece. I'm going to start pointing at random people like, as we go. Are you going to do it with a different face each time? <laughs> no. <laughs> These guys don't know about that. No, no. We, we, we saw you shifting your face to flirt with the halfling. No, you saw it melt. That's something different. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
All right, as you start walking out of town to the southwest. <laughs> It's gotta be the most gorgeous motherfuckers this town has seen. Well, uh, Charisma 18, Charisma I 14. Said we, yeah. Red. Oh. we. Oh, okay. We're adventurers. <clears throat> Just by being adventurers, we're sexy. And you do look better than most of the villagers you pass.